No! Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be trying viral TikTok food hacks slash Pinterest ones. So I was looking through TikTok and Pinterest and I found a bunch of really fun recipes and things that are super easy to make and also some food hacks. I don't really know why it's called hacks because it's not like, I don't know. So basically right now it's the morning and I'm going to obviously make a breakfast one. So all over TikTok and Pinterest, I have found these French toast rolls. This is what they look like and they are very very easy to make so yeah i'll insert the tiktok right here of how to make them so the video that you guys just saw is what i'm going to be attempting to make right now so yeah let's go and try this recipe out so i'm now in the kitchen and i just grabbed all of my ingredients so i have one egg some butter nutella obviously sugar bread and lastly milk okay so i have my three rolls and i'm going to make the little mix don't I say hello, my cutie. I am extremely excited to try these. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Literally look how good these look. So I'm going to try it and then I also have some strawberries here. It literally smells like a Nutella crap. It smells amazing. I gave some to my parents and they said that it tasted good. I have Nutella in my teeth so just don't mind that. This recipe definitely started off this video very well. I would rate this one honestly like a 10 out of 10. Like I would make this again. It is so easy to make and it tastes amazing so why not make it? But but, uh, but definitely go and make this recipe. It's amazing. Bella's just gonna sit there and watch me make the next thing because she can't eat any. So it is a bit later on now and I'm going to be doing the second hack or recipe. So this is gonna be a snack slash dessert thing, which is cookies. I'll put the TikTok up on the screen. <laughs> It is the best soft chocolate chip cookie recipe and it looks amazing. So I thought I would try it out and let you guys know what I think of it. So firstly, you're going to pour in half a cup of brown sugar and then it's one cup of normal sugar. So after both sugars, then you put in two cups of butter or two sticks of butter. Oh, I have to melt it. It's two sticks, definitely two cups. Literally, I'm going to show you guys how much butter I put in. This is not even two cups. This is where I messed up. Definitely don't use this much butter but yeah i'm not gonna put any more in because that looks like a lot i love doing these kinds of videos like it's just so fun trying out new recipes but it just looks like way too much butter this is so much it's actually really satisfying to melt though okay i'm just gonna pour this in to the sugar before i make any more of a mess it looks very gross but i think this is creamy enough i don't know it doesn't look exactly like hers but i guess we're just gonna go with it so far this has been pretty easy it wasn't that difficult to melt the butter but i think i should have definitely used a bigger pan I'm going to crack two eggs into the bowl. If you want to follow the recipe properly, then after the eggs, add in two teaspoons of vanilla. But I cannot find the vanilla, so... Then I need three cups of flour. Okay, one teaspoon of this. And then half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to eyeball the salt because I can't really be bothered to measure it out. This is what the cookie dough is looking like. It looks very good. And then I have these chocolate chips. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna add all of them. So I'm adding one and a half cups of chocolate chips. It looks very nice. I'm gonna try some of the cookie dough because that's always the test. Mmm, this is literally the best cookie dough I've tasted. Oh, look, you can see Bella in the oven mirror. That's so cute. I love you, Bubba. Okay, let's let that preheat. 350 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius. That would be 176. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do it at 180. And for eight to 10 minutes, that's so quick. I did not cut that the best, but it's gonna have to do. Those cookies 
cookies were absolutely amazing. I'd rate them a 9 out of 10. Hey guys, it is the next day and I'm going to make the next food hack. I think we have like a few more to do. But today I thought I would just try out this healthy pancake recipe. <music> So you need one banana, two eggs, and half a cup of oatmeal or porridge. And that's basically it. And I was seeing this thing with bacon where people like put the bacon in and then they drizzle pancake over the bacon. But bacon, if I cook it in the oven, it takes like 20 minutes to bake and I don't have that much time. So yeah, I might save that one for tomorrow. But yeah, let's go downstairs and try out this pancake recipe. We met on summer. I just tried the pancakes and they were so good, especially because they were quite healthy, like oats, banana, and egg. Yeah, and they tasted really, really good. I would definitely make those again. For being healthy, I would rate them like a 10 out of 10. Like, I feel like healthiness can't taste any better than that. But just for normal, like compared to a normal pancake, it's probably like a six or a seven. Today is Tuesday, so I have another school day. And yeah, I'm probably going to make some other things throughout the day. I wanted to make mug cakes and microwavable stuff but we don't have a microwave i don't think i know that it may be strange to so many people that we don't have a microwave but yeah i don't really have anything to say about it because we just don't have one okay that was so pointless bye back to the video so yeah i'm gonna try and find some that i can do in the toaster or something but yeah we'll just see where that goes so i will see you when i make the next food hack Ow. So the next hack that I'm going to try is a lemon hack for like lemon water and squeezing lemons. Insane. It's a pretty random hack, but it looks really cool. So basically you just take a lemon I'm just gonna roll it first, but it didn't say that you had to do this So you take a lemon and you just put a skewer right through it So then I just have the glass and I'm just gonna squeeze the lemon into it. You know, this is not working Am I doing something wrong? I'm going to see if I'm doing this wrong because the lady in the video like it looked very real you squeeze it out, it's like Maybe it's because my lemon is pretty cold, but nothing is coming out when I squeeze it. My advice for this one is to just cut a lemon like normal. <gasps> oh my gosh, I keep dropping the lemon in. Okay, I do not think that this hack works. Maybe you guys should try it and let me know if it worked for you, but I just think it's way easier to just cut up a lemon like normal. Like literally it takes two seconds to cut the lemon in half and then you can just squeeze it. And so much more of the lemon comes out. So just do it this way. I think it's just quicker and easier, or at least for me it is. Should we try the lemon juice? Mm -hmm. Uh, it tastes like acid. Why did I do that? Grab your saucepan, one cup of water, and then one cup of granulated sugar. Now we're just gonna put this on the stove on medium heat, bring it to a low boil until all the sugar is dissolved, and then add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then you just let it cool and pour it back into your bottle and ignore the color because you know that it's natural and that you just saved $5. So this is how to make vanilla syrup at home for coffee. So firstly, you're gonna get a pan and you're gonna take one cup of water. So this is a half cup, so I'm just gonna put in two of these. and then one cup of sugar. I really hope this works because I'm using a lot of sugar. Oh, so we don't have vanilla extract and that's the main ingredient. So that was a bit stupid of me not watching the full video first and getting all the ingredients, but I'm still gonna boil this and it says to just let all the sugar dissolve. And then I'm gonna make some coffee and put this in it and see what happens. And also I'm gonna froth the milk because that's a thing that literally everyone is doing right now and doing like the sweet cream cold foam. So I'm gonna do vanilla sweet cream cold foam. So you just have to boil it on medium heat until this all dissolves i think that is dissolved that took literally like a few minutes to do okay i think i'm just gonna put a little bit of honey in because this is sweet and it's not like vanilla but if i just put a tiny drop and mix it in that should be fine just because i feel like it's gonna have no flavor it's just gonna taste like sugar so i'm gonna start by frothing the milk i'm just gonna put the milk in and then i'm going to put a little bit of the uh, vanilla syrup that i just made it's not even vanilla but yeah just a tiny bit and then I'll pour more in afterwards. Now I'm gonna froth this and see how that goes. I don't really drink coffee at all, but I just thought it was necessary for this hack. 
should have done this in a clear cup so you can like see it all. That will be for another time, but it's all about the taste. I remember when everyone was making whipped coffee in quarantine. This is like bringing back those memories, but just a different kind of coffee. And there's only one more hack after this. This is amazing. I usually don't really like coffee because it's just very strong and bitter. But this is like a coffee for the people who don't really like coffee. But you could definitely make this with more coffee and it would be literally perfect. But I only like that tiny, tiny taste of coffee. And yeah, this is amazing. I'm very proud. But I love it. I'll see you guys for the last hack because we only have one more hack to go. So I never gave my final rating on the vanilla syrup. The coffee was a 10 out of 10. The final drink was really good, but for the vanilla syrup, I didn't think it was the best. Obviously, it tasted good, but I feel like adding sugar would literally do the same thing. I don't know if it would be a bit different with vanilla extract, but for what I made, I think it would just be so much easier to add sugar rather than making the vanilla syrup. But I guess if you just have it handy, it might be easier. But I guess the process just takes a bit longer than just adding sugar to your coffee. I'd rate it like a 5 out of 10. I wouldn't say it's much different to just sugar so yeah that's my final rating now on to the next day it's the next day now and it's time to make the last tiktok food hack and i think this one is more of like a big trend because i feel like everyone's doing it so you just put one egg in i'll just show you guys the video and then you put two pieces of toast in the egg i meant bread by the way but it was so early in the morning and i literally had no clue what i was doing you flip it and then you put all your toppings on it she so put cheese and bacon i'm gonna just put bacon and then you just fold it up and then you have a nice breakfast sandwich or like toast thing so i have this bread it's actually rye bread so it might be a bit different but i love rye bread and then i have these little bacon pieces and i have two eggs let me tell us go take me on this journey home i don't want to wait no So I have finished making my breakfast. It does not look the best, but it smells amazing. It doesn't look anything like the video, but to be honest, I don't think that it's the video's fault or like the hack's fault. I think it's just because of the bread that I used. It's a lot more flimsy and it breaks very easily, but I'm gonna try it because it really matters about the taste. Yeah, it tastes absolutely amazing. So for the actual hack rating, for me, the actual hack didn't work, but for the actual hack with the normal bread that they used, I would like rate it a good amount. I don't know if it takes longer to make than just normal egg on toast because I feel like that's easier and this is quite a lot more effort so yeah I would probably next time just make normal eggs on toast but with the normal toast I think it would be a great hack so yeah I think I'm going to eat up my breakfast the taste of it I'm just going to rate it a 10 out of 10 oh and one other thing is I think they should have put the toppings like inside the egg kind of what they did with the toast because for me the bacon's just going everywhere and it's not like in the egg I prefer it when the bacon's in the omelette so yeah this is the last hack of this video comment down below if you would like me to do a part two and maybe bring back some of the old trends from first quarantine i think that would be super fun but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to stay tuned for my next videos because i have a lot of exciting content coming soon but yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day if you have tried out any of these food hacks then comment down below what one is your favorite as well have a great rest of your day bye